So Microsoft president, I'm going to look at this, and then there's also an article about uh, Phil Spencer talking about uh, about WoW. Microsoft president Brad Smith did an interview with NBC and called out Activision Blizzard and said they should make workplace culture and safety a priority, and specifically said, quote, when we take over at Activision, indicating leadership overhaul is on the horizon. You know what I say? Good. Good. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate it. This is very much appreciated. So this is the reality, right? Is that... Name one thing that Blizzard did right in the last four years. One product that Blizzard has done right. Classic? They fucked it up. They fucked up Classic in so many ways. Yeah, the only good thing is, is selling Microsoft. The, the company is hilariously mismanaged. Here's what I think. PvP vendor? No, this isn't something... I mean like actual like structural decisions in the company. The fact is that Blizzard for the last, in my opinion, five years, maybe even more, has been floundering around, they've been floundering around like a dead fucking fish. And I'm glad that this is happening. If Blizzard is going to be taken over by Activision, the main thing that we want is for them to have new leadership. What is the main problem with Blizzard, it seems? Leadership. It's awful. Like, yeah, the games are problematic too, but I think the games are problematic because the leadership makes them that way. Phil Spencer chat with Steven Totillo, Xbox aspirations with Activision Blizzard. St Activ journalist Steven Totillo recently had a chat with Activision's uh, uh, CEO, Phil Spencer, where he got to ask some questions about Xbox's plans with Activision Blizzard in the future. According to Totillo, Phil Spencer put an emphasis on rising player count for their games during their conversation. This increase is achieved by first and foremost the title's quality. However, accessibility plays a part in widening, widening a game's reach as well. For Xbox-owned games like Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon, accessibility, yeah, because you can play it on PC too. Let's talk about what he says about WoW. Spencer said, yeah, I want more people to be playing WoW in five years that are than are playing today. I want more people to be playing Call of Duty in five years than people playing Candy Crush in five years because you've made it more accessible to more people. I, I mean, the thing is, like, that doesn't really, that doesn't say a lot to me. Yeah, it, it, that doesn't really say a lot. Like, if he was mentioning World of Warcraft exclusively, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, this does mean something. But, like, he's just mentioning all the games. So it's like, okay, well, that that's fine. Like, as I said before, Phil Spencer, uh, if you're watching, please come on my show, okay? Please come on Allcraft and we can talk about this situation. We'd love to have you on. We can do it any time that fits your schedule. Uh, but, you know, 3 p.m. On, on Thursday would be ideal. Regardless, I think it's good that obviously they're thinking about this. And I do think that if, if they put the WoW subscription on the Battle Pass, or on the Game Pass, excuse me, for, uh, for Xbox, the Microsoft Game Pass, that would be fucking huge. It would be absolutely fucking huge if they did that. And it would be so good for the game. I would be so happy if they did that. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's not too bad. I've seen worse in the ASMR section. It's okay. I saw one girl in the ASMR section doing like this to the microphone. I thought that was pretty impressive. You know, like, usually you try to hide it and, you know, it's like, well, it's not really like simulating sucking a dick. It's not really what it is. But everybody knows what it is. And that's why we watch it, obviously. Unfortunately, due to streamer Asmongold failing to perform a helicopter dick for his chat, we have no option but to indefinitely delay the launch of Lost Ark. Why do you have 400k viewers? Uh, I told everybody at 100k viewers I would do a helicopter dick. And so people came in as soon as I hit 100k. And it just kind of snowballed from there because they're waiting for the helicopter dick. We're going we're gonna to do that, man. Just stick around for like maybe five more minutes and uh, I'll get it out and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll start flying away. Thank you for your patience as we await further developments. Real tweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what they actually said, guys, in case anybody was confused. Uh, they, they deleted the thread, uh, sorry, the tweet a little bit after, but it did get a lot of likes. And that's why somebody had the screenshot of it and they were able to post it on my Twitter. I can't believe they posted that, honestly, but, you know, there it is. Advice friends versus the real Giga Chad. What's this? The MF Cool did not reward a grave of books. See Steam D, please. I can't tell if he's acting or just has an extra chromosome. Please check your 50 method, maybe. Keep questioning. Bro, why you pick the pet and not the mount for your channel? Why don't you change your channel mini map to be congested? Asman, can you pause the game? I have to pee. Bro. <laughs> the face is just so good. The thing is, like, listen, 
I could probably be item level 1000 by now. I could. Easily. How? You just play the game all day, you do the most efficient thing constantly, non-stop, and it wouldn't be fun to watch. That's really what it is. Like, uh, you, you guys can at least, uh, you guys can at least agree with me that if I had tried to level up fast, I probably would have leveled faster. You know what I mean? Like, I probably would be 50 by now. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, like, why the fuck would I want to do that, though? It's like... You only have one chance to play the game. And it's like, also a lot of you guys probably just want to have the experience. Like maybe the story of the game isn't like, it, it's it's probably not Shadowbringers quality, right? It's probably not Heaven's Ward quality. Well, Shadowbringers, I've just said, I've never played it, but I'm just, I've hear it's so good. And um, before somebody accuses me of, I looked everything up ahead of time. I've seen comments like that. The Lost Ark story is good, it's gotten good. It was started off to be like, it was not very good, but it's gotten a lot better. And I think watching it, it's like, did any, have you, have any of you guys watched a movie like in a theater? Like, let's say you watched like Lord of the Rings in the theater or uh, Avengers Endgame or uh, fucking like Infinity War or something like that. And you have the audience reaction. You have the audience reaction. And it, that's, I think, the vibe that people get out of watching the show and watching it with everybody else. I happen to see this. What's this here? Uh, I'll go ahead and pull this up and see what this guy says. Uh, I saw that. I don't. I've, I've seen a few of them, but I mean, to me, as I said before. Oh, God. Let me read this. Again, like this is the funniest fucking thing whenever you see something like this is you see a person who types a really, really big paragraph. Okay. Like a huge fucking paragraph. And it goes like this. It's gone. And like, I feel kind of bad for them whenever that happens. Because it just goes... You know what I mean? But there's it. there it is. Asma, I know you may not see this. But I would genuinely love to be your girlfriend if you ever considered someone like me. From what I can tell, at least watching your streams, I, I live a lot like you. And I play MMOs all the time. I genuinely have dreams that I have met you. And we've had fun gaming and hanging out. Not anything bad. Well, that's too bad. Um, also live in Texas, very close to Austin, so would love to apply for the supposed girlfriend sign up. Haha, <laughs> if not, it's okay though. Well, thanks a lot, Evan. Yeah, thanks a lot, Evan, for, for fucking, for, for your interest. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Evan. That's what we wanted to see, guys. Where's the resume? I have no fucking idea, okay, guys? Uh, I just thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, really, really appreciate that, Evan. Thank you so much. Shouldn't post your item level in bra size, though? Hey, you know, you can't win them all, right? Let's look at the other ones. So this one, I saw this. I don't know what the hell. I, I don't really know. I don't know why this is what it is. I really don't. I, I wish I did, but I do not. This is disgusting. Upvote to scare Asmon. Salad, Red Cerberus, Gmod, Solas, Water, Fuck, Oh My God, Shower, Schedule, and this situation here. Listen, guys, I, I feel like this one was probably photoshopped. Like, there's no way it's really that bad. Now, I don't want to show you guys my hairline. No, what, I'm just I'm just talking, you know, out loud. I'm just thinking out loud. That, I mean, like, guys, let's be honest. That is really bad. And, like, I, this, it's me, right? Like, this is, like, I, I have a Nintendo 64 hairline. That's what it is. Remember that? Where, where's the fucking, uh... Asmon Gold, Tendo 64. Yeah. So, um, that's what the problem is right there. That is right there, exactly 100%. That's what the problem is. And I don't know what to do about it. Fuck. It, it, it sucks, man. I'm actually going to... I, I might get a hair transplant or something like that. Because the thing is, like... I have so much hair on the side of my head and all I have so much hair on the side of my head and I, it would be great if I could have it in the front instead because I like having long hair but long hair whenever you're balding um you look like you you look like a, a ghoul yes you look like a ghoul let's be honest a crypt keeper yes exactly uh, let me look at the rest of these how to get asthma to read your message no <laughs> no make a donation hope for to read the method make a duration during TTS stream Learn and study Asmongold's talk pattern, so you know when he stops talking and looks at Chad. Also taking stream delay into account to increase chances of him reading the message. 1. Type all the messages you want him to read. Get yourself banned on purpose by saying some other dumb shit. 
prophet, he will now personally read your entire chat history out loud. Guys, listen, we're gonna do ban appeals pretty soon, okay? Yeah, we're gonna do ban appeals really soon. He's not wrong? No, he's not. You're, you're right about that. He is not wrong. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the situation that we're in, I guess. I, I don't know even what the fuck to say. The third eye? Yeah, that it was a good idea. Write a paragraph that gets bumped like that. That's... Uh, I saw so many of these. So this is during the uh, the fucking the Lord of the Rings thing. I was talking about you know black people in Lord of the Rings, the sex stuff, everything like that, right? And I had a conversation about, it, and I saw people. Well, you know, from my opinion, <laughs> you know what I've seen is. <laughs> it's like imagine how long you thought about that. <laughs> it's just, literally no like. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. It's just gone instantly. And like I know what this is, right? It's um it's people from YouTube because like I have a lot of an you know, I have an older audience, definitely. I have an older audience and uh because of that, I've got some guys in there. They don't understand this cool new Twitch lingo bullshit, right? Like, you know, back in their day, they used to use AIM, AOL Instant Messenger. Remember that? Yeah, it was a long fucking time. So, like, anyway, yeah, you got YouTube boomers, everybody coming into the stream, seeing what the fuck is up. And uh, that's, ends up, that, that's what ends up happening. So, yeah, I think it's fucking funny. Um, uh, f the fifth one, turn the message into a meme on Reddit and give them to read it on Reddit recap. I'm on the third stage. I can't wait to get banned. Yeah, I can't wait to get banned, I bet. I can't believe somebody would do this to me. Well, actually, never mind. I can absolutely believe this. It's not a surprise whatsoever. Show a hairline? I don't think so. All right, let's go to the rest one. Uh, nice 42069. Yeah, I'm surprised somebody caught that or it even landed on that at all. Found this whole picture of Asmon. Yeah, this was me. Uh, this is me before I started playing Final Fantasy. And whenever I started playing it, I got really skinny and more feminine. So, you know, it's unfortunate. But, you know, that's what, you know, that, that was the old WoW Chad uh, days, guys. That's what it was. Giga Chad, it's pay for convenience. It's pay to skip. It's pay to win. <laughs> Look, guys, it, it is... To a certain degree, it, it does have pay to win in it. But the thing is, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to see how bad it is. And if it's frustrating and if it becomes a real obstacle to playing and enjoying the game. And if it is, I'll probably just move on. Right? But until then, I'll just try to enjoy the game and go from there. Me, uh, my copy paste stands ready. Me waiting for McConnell to say what a day when I asked him to take a piss break so I can emote spam. Listen. McConnell was playing Lost Ark as far as I know. I'll, I'll hit him up maybe tonight. I've been so busy. And uh, we'll see where he's at. I can't wait. Whenever we get to 50, I'd really like to do some of the dungeons and everything like that, too. It'll be fucking awesome, man. Zeppo is fleeing from Western Ukraine. I'll be evacuating with my pets to Western Ukraine this weekend. Heartbreaking to leave so many friends behind. Yeah, we saw this. Zeppo is actually leaving Ukraine or going to Western Ukraine, actually. And um, I think that's not really a surprise. I mean, like... It's crazy for me, like, so yesterday I asked people, so I was, like, streaming, and it was at the end of the stream, and I was like, okay, is there any topics that I haven't covered, and someone was like, oh, Russia's invading Ukraine, it's World War Three, and it's like, oh, yeah, I, I for yeah, we, we forgot about World War Three. Let let's go ahead and, and cover that now, because, you know, we were playing video games all fucking day. Stupid fear-mongering, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have no idea what's going on. I don't live in Russia. I don't live in Ukraine. I hope the U.S. doesn't try to get militarily involved. I hope there's no military escalation. And I don't think anybody except for people that are financially invested in defense contracts and defense companies want there to be a war. That's the truth. Uh, I, I fucking hate that shit. And I think that if any, if almost any, and I can't speak for every country, right? Because I don't live there. But like in the U.S., I think if any candidate ever said that they were going to go to war against any country, I would immediately vote against them. Like, it wouldn't matter anything else they said. I would immediately vote against them. Because the truth is, like, the, the, the technology and everything nowadays is just so ridiculously complex and powerful. Like, you want to talk about global warming? What about a nuclear fucking bomb? Like, it, it scares the shit out of me, and I don't want to have any of, the, any of that to happen. I promise go to war with Nazis? There are no Nazis, man. The, the Nazi Germany was, like, almost 100 years ago now. Uh, that, that, that's, there's no, like, th th this is, there's not a, you know, 
like massive battle between good and evil are there places in the world that i think are problematic absolutely but like how do you solve something like that it maybe not necessarily with a bomb it, it scares the shit out of me it's a bad take this is a bad it, it's a bad take that there's not nazis everywhere please chill out man chill out oh boy there's still nazis yeah definitely there's still nazis like a hundred percent but we don't need like what, what are you are you gonna go to war with a fucking skinhead get together with 40 people that half of them couldn't graduate high school that's not a war that, that, that's not a war that that's just a, yeah just 20 fucking 40 skinheads get together fucking talk about how they're the greatest race in the world and the half of them don't have any fucking teeth and can't speak english even though it's their first fucking language meanwhile people that are immigrants into the country can speak better english know it better than they do everybody hates that shit nobody likes those people but that doesn't mean that it's a massive country that's worth going to war against. It's just a fucking minority, a small fraction of imbeciles. That's all there is to it, man. Keep that in mind. Yeah, some trailer park uprising isn't going to shatter society. Who gives a fuck about them? It doesn't matter. Let's look over here. Don't worry, guys. Join Discord. I'll explain the fight. My English? <laughs> I remember we had this one guy, this one guy from fucking, uh, he was like a, I, I don't know where he was from, he was not from fucking America, and he was explaining Ragnaros, the fight, and it took like 20 minutes, and nobody knew anything because his accent was so strong. We had this other guy, his name was Reinhardt, and he would raid back in, uh, in ICC, and Reinhardt had a friend, his name was Avernus, and Reinhardt had, like, relatively good English, and Avernus didn't. And the problem is that Reinhardt made Avernus the raid leader. And we had this happen every Friday night. And Reinhardt, and, and we would wipe, right? And Avernus would be yelling at everybody. He'd be fucking furious. And then he, Reinhardt would start yelling at him. And they would start yelling at each other. And it would get louder and louder and louder and louder. And then it would turn to Russian. And, and then it, like, it would be quiet in the Discord or, or in Vent. And everybody would just be like, okay, uh, we're gonna take five, and uh, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do Sarfang again. Uh, let's everybody come back, and, and we're gonna relax. <laughs> yeah. The DK? Yes, the DK. He, he made videos, yes. Situation right now, free-to-play players, founders, packs, and servers. Well, to be fair, I think they're generally, uh, best clickbait I've seen in a bit. Asmogold explains why Lost Ark could replace boring New World. <laughs> yeah, I remember whenever I did this interview, you know? Wait, what's this? <laughs> yeah. Pretty accurate. Lost Ark, lost servers, lost characters, lost connection, lost aura. <laughs> Nobody knows anything. Okay, so let's go over. Apparently, people wanted me to look at the Lost Ark Twitter. See if I can find that, okay? Has anyone noticed how awful the voice over mixing is in Lost Ark? Yes, it's terrible. Uh, when Asma misses your gifted subs, say my name. Captain for Senth, thank you very much for the gifted subs that you probably gifted yesterday that I didn't read. I appreciate it. Surreal? Well, who's this? Yeah, you know, I'm like, you know, uh, moving my eyebrows, like, wow, wow. A bit like, you know, as Mongod, like, when he talks, I'm like, wow, I really love, like, oh, wow, this game is really fucking great. Best MMORPG I ever saw in my life. Uh huh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, is she ranking? Is, is she ranking different fetishes? I, I'm, I'm just looking at and, and like, look, read, read what this is. Read what these are. Whole, I don't even want to read them. I think if I read them, I'll get banned. Oh my god! No, no way. It's hentai tags. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, how could I possibly fucking forget that? Activision Blizzard hires new head developer. What the fuck? Like, that's way too much. That's way too fucking loud, man. Oh my god. What was that? Why would you do that? Oh my god. This dude, yeah. That's just too fucking much. I was going to say, a lot of people on Twitter were upset. All I can think of this line from Chappelle said to stand up. I don't give a fuck because Twitter's not a real place. Yeah, I remember I watched The Closer too. I thought it was really good. But I do think that there were a lot. Like, that was about the Lord of the Rings shit. Like, I, honestly, like, some people are pissed off about that. I, as I said before, I just don't think the show's going to be that great. 
uh, fucking like who gives a shit about what color people are or whatever. I just I don't think it's gonna be that good, man. I I don't. I have like very low expectations and uh, fuck. Like that's all there is to it. I mean, maybe it is, and I hope that it is. That's what it comes down to. Amazon's Lord of the Rings Dwarf Queen lore act, bro. I saw S Fan fucking played Lost Ark all night. Like I woke up this morning at like seven or something like that. I the first thing I did, I obviously I checked Twitch pretty much every morning whenever I wake up, and he was already fucking streaming, man. Like he was popping off all night long, and I thought that was a good thing. That's fucking amazing. I'm glad for that. That's great. Rich is still playing. See, I'm actually surprised Rich is still playing. I, I was expecting Rich to, as soon as I went live or I ended my intro, I thought he was going to host me so he could have a screenshot of him hosting smaller streamer Asmongold. Like, I, I was genuinely expecting that to happen. And then I would have to be like, you know, because people would start it up and then all Rich's viewers in chat would say, you know, Rich's Twitter, Pepe laugh, and I would go to it. And it's some fucking bullshit about how Rich is trying to make somebody, you know, some small streamer's day. Uh, that That's pretty much what I had expected to have. Missed opportunity, obviously. L. Rich, yeah, exactly. The Dwarf Queen lore. So, I actually... In Tolkien's lore, I'm pretty sure that dwarf women, dwarven women, have beards. I, I'm right. I, I think so, or at least it's it, it's on the table. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So this is something that kind of uh, like we never really saw a lot of dwarven women in Lord of the Rings or in The Hobbit too much. So like, yeah, it's that's obviously something that kind of just got changed over time. But you don't really see a lot of fantasy games that use that because I think they just probably like. Basically, devs, it's like the the elves are like hot Victoria's Secret models, and the dwarven women are like short, thick chicks, you know? And like, that's kind of the, like, that's the delineation, all right? And you know, you know what I mean? Like, that that's really what it is, and uh, no one wants to see that. I think that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, they do have beards in fucking in the lore, but that's it, it's ugly, so we're not going to have that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think it's that simple. In Witcher, there was dwarven women with beards? Uh, I, I didn't know that, actually. I had no idea. Dark Souls 3 versus Elden Ring character models? Okay, let's see here. Holy shit! Bro, that almost looks like a Giga, uh, a, a Giga Chad T Toby Maguire. Am I right about that? Like, Giga Chad Toby Maguire. That's the first fucking thing I think of whenever I see that. Yeah, this is way better. Like, wow. Uh, character customization matters a lot for a lot of people. And, uh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's really... Okay. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Current MMO market in a nutshell. Jaded MMO players, anime titties, East Asian developers. Hey. I mean, it's... It's good. Like, what's wrong with that? Yeah, it's a good thing. Asmongold pondering the orb. Okay, yeah, very fucking funny. Yeah, it's actually, it's still spinning. It's been spinning ever since yesterday, which is kind of crazy to think. Um, this is brilliant. I like this. Paladin does a lot of damage. Asmogold, I'll ignore that. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. Uh, Paladin suck. Uh, so glad Asmogold's back on the main channel. I did this art of him some time ago. I hope you guys like it. It is what it is. <laughs> With the shirt. Oh, I really like the, the individual hair strands on my forehead. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, man. With the OTK thing in the background, really appreciated. Thanks a lot, dude. Uh, 9.2 is on February 22nd, but if you go into the PTR forum, you'll see class feedback threads have hundreds of comments and more than half have received zero communication regarding legitimate complaints about bugged sets and broken coding. The patch is literally being rushed because of Elden Ring. I don't know anybody who's going to be like, Oh, man, dude, I was going to play Elden Ring, but 9.2 is out. Fuck, man, I'm not going to be able to do it now. I'm not going to be able to do it now. This sucks. Yeah, that's not going to happen, man. It's not going to happen. People, Everybody's going to play Elden Ring anyway. Like, you're just going to take time off. Like, Blizzard's dumb for even trying that. Yeah, they're dumb for even trying it. It's Destiny 2. Who cares? Yeah, it could be Destiny 2 as well. Anyway, let me look back over here and uh, and try this. Uh, stream lagging? Uh, that was uh, that's on Twitch, not me. Uh, I didn't drop any frames. Yeah, man, like dead ass, man. You know what I really fucking hate about this? If it'll load, what I really fucking hate about this is the fact that you made my hair gray. 
Like, you, you made my fucking hair gray. It, it's not the hat, it's not anything else. It's the fact that you, you made my fucking hair gray. Like, you're 40 though? I'm not 40, alright? I'm not gonna be 40 for a while. The gray? I feel like I'm- Like, I've gotten a few gray hairs in my beard, and every single time I get one, I have to lay down in bed. But, um, you know, it's- It sucks. And that's why I have on my, uh, look, nobody knows- Nobody knows really how old I am. Oh, I- okay, I'm, th I'm 31, right? But I have on my profile 28 plus, okay? Yeah, it's on my profile 28 plus. Fucking hilarious, what I really wanted to do. The best thing about this is the fact that, like, you know- Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I thought he was just gonna, like, step on his hand or something, but no. It was even more savage than that. Oh, here you go. Here you go, Father Armin. We're gonna... See ya, bitch! Ain't no demons in my game! Yeah, there we go. Founders changes, look. Founders pack changes? Yeah, I'll look at that in a minute. Asgore was a member of the... Okay, yeah, very funny. Another weird-looking guy from, you know, 50 years ago. Put me in the next Asmongold costume contest, please. I actually really like that. That looks good. Uh, you definitely probably should be there. And let's see. Is this it? Let's see here. Amazon will be giving extra Founders Packs if you create a character on a new server. Are Founders Pack mounts... So, like, if I make a character on another server, and then I can go and... I make a character on another server, do I still get the Founders Pack on my main character? Because, like, I don't think so. No, yes, no, it's not bait, it's not tradable. Yeah, I have no idea, man. Make character on another server, go back? Yeah, bait and switch them, man. Fuck them. That's the way I see it. Players uh, have let us know one of the reasons they're reluctant to switch to lower population servers is because many of them have already deemed their founders packs on another server to help combat this. We're giving it back. Listen, Amazon, it's very simple. Amazon, AK Blades, thank you much, very much for the five uh, five subs. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, it's it's server bound, uh, not account bound. Oh, okay. You can just claim it again on your main server again, no need. All right, I'll look into that in a bit, okay? Uh, I'm just not sure exactly how that works. Read it all? Okay, I'll read it all. To help combat this, we're making, we're exploring new servers and a more reasonable choice. We're granting all Founders Pack purchasers that redeem their pack by 12 p.m. an extra, with an extra set of exclusive items they redeemed, as well as additional royal crystals for silver, gold, and platinum pack purchasers. Wait, so do I get my... Am I getting the red one? Oh my god! What, dude? Oh my god. Alright, yeah, that's fucking awesome, man. Is this Diablo? It's Diablo if Diablo was an MMO and it got updates uh, more than once every four years. Yes, that's correct. Wondering what D Destiny 2 is in a three-minute nutshell? I'm not. Uh, let's see. Wait, Ark Arkman Mauled is a weeb now. Yeah. The thing is, like, I've, I I've looked at... I've watched anime for years, man. Uh, I hope Zach realizes who that uh, second Endwalker Media Tour package was for. Thanks, Truth Seeker, for pointing it out. What's this? The moment you realize the interview he had with the OCP, you realize the second box was more than likely meant for his mom? Oh, I don't know about that, dude. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. Like, if I had given her this thing right here, or uh, you guys, I guess, can't see it in the frame right now. Let me see if I can move it over and y'all be able to see it. Yeah, there it is. It's that one right there. Uh, the moon. I I'm gonna be totally honest. Like, she would have thought that shit was, like, fucking magic. And she probably would have wanted me to turn it off. Because she's like, okay, there's no way that there's not something in that that makes it, like, there's not some kind of, like, weird, like, fucking bullshit in there. It's like 5G, maybe 6G is in there. Yeah, I have no fucking idea. So, I don't know if this was meant for her or not. I mean, to be fair, I mean, the, the hoodie and everything like that, neither of them, I, I mean, they would not have fit her, to be honest. So, and they didn't ask for her, uh, her shirt size or her uh, hoodie size. So, I don't necessarily think that's the case, but, I mean, like, maybe. It definitely does kind of feel bad to, to think about that, though, for sure. And I think if that's the case, I'll probably just end up giving it to Cody, right? I mean, because Cody was, you know, she'd always ask me, how are my other sons? And she'd be talking about Cody and Jeff, of course. So yeah, uh, that's about it. Whenever servers are down, you can watch the Mad Season video. Well, I'm not going to do that quite yet. And the reason why I'm not going to do that quite yet is because um, I'm going to be uh, doing... 
what do you call it? Uh, it that's that's going to be like a whole day. That's basically what I'm saying. Yeah, it's going to be like a whole day worth of content. What a great woman. Yeah, I mean, she was a, she was really nice and. I mean, I it, it, I don't I don't know. Like, I mean, it just it sucks. But like, I I've been frustrated about it. I think about it a lot. I mean, of course I do, right? How could I not? And it's just very frustrating to me that uh, it, it like I I would always want her to do things to like improve her health, and she would just never do them. And it was so frustrating because like it's like even things that took the smallest amount of effort would just never they just never happen like she just would not do them and it, it, it's like there's a certain amount of like frustrating powerlessness that that gives you and it makes you feel and i really just can't express enough how unpleasant that was and just how demoralizing and just soul crushing that was to just watch it happen over the last 10 years uh it was awful man it really was i i just i don't know why i i, I don't get it at all yeah so it, it just it sucks i mean the thing is like you can never control like I, I like you can never control another person it's like if i had tried to take away her cigarettes and like not buy her cigarettes she could order them online get somebody else to buy them uh, there'd always be a way that you can get around it and i just i, I just i didn't want to have like that level of friction and frustration in my life and I, I like i'll go back and i'll look at pictures and i just like saw like all the weight that she had gained whenever she got older and before she passed and all and it was just, it's just it's so frustrating to see that and it sounds bad but it just makes me mad at her because like why did you do this it's like it did not it just did not have to happen this did not have to happen like why why would you do this to yourself like you just you just did this and it like affected me and it just sucks but i mean uh, it was a huge burden and as i said i'll give anything to give it back but it i don't know i could talk about it all all, all, all day and um it, it is what it is yeah you can't save someone from themselves as hard as you try yeah i mean it, it it's like it's weird as i said before it, it really is it's weird i'll talk about this real quick that you know, I spent so much of my life in like constant anxious fear that something would happen to her and that I had to be like ready and able to have that happen. Because like, for example, like uh, one time, uh, like I, I, I awoke and she was like screaming my name because she was having like, they did not say it was a heart attack. It was a heart event. And she was screaming my name. And this is whenever we were really, really poor. And she would tell me, and she was like saying, please don't call the ambulance. Please don't call the ambulance. They're going to take the house, you know, because it's going to cost so much money. And it's like, that wouldn't have happened. But like, you know, she just would never understand it. And, and anyway, so I had to deal with that. And then I, I basically like dropped out of like, I think I was like going to school at the time. I dropped out of school. I stopped looking for a job uh, and, and everything like that. And like after that, I would wake up. I could only sleep for like two hours a night because I would have like, I would wake up and I would hear her screaming my name and I'd have to go out and check on her to make sure she was still alive. And I did this for probably like six months or so, maybe a year uh, until it finally went away. It, it was really, really fucking bad. And I just, uh, it, it really, really, really sucked. <sighs> it was stressful. Yeah, I mean, my dad helped, uh, you know, however he could. My dad did his best. But I mean, again, you can't save somebody from themselves. That's rough. Yeah, it just sucks, man. And uh, that's really all there is to it. How are you not fucking pissed? Well, I mean, what can I say? What can I do? The thing is, like, there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can say. There's no way that you can stop it. And so, like, now it's really weird. Uh, it's called PTSD, my man. Probably need a therapist. Well, it's not happening anymore. I, I don't have it happen anymore. And, like, it's weird now that, like, now that she's gone, because it's, like, really the first time in my adult life ever that I didn't have, like, the constant anxious, ominous pressure and dread of knowing it's not if, but it's when. And it could be today. And it, it's so weird because like that pressure just absolutely fucking killed me and I didn't even realize it uh, until like after she was gone. And like I can wake up now and I don't have chest pain, right? I don't have to take muscle relaxers every single night because I don't, I'm not stressed out. I, I, I'm, I'm okay. And I I feel a lot better. I, I do, and I wish I didn't. I really wish I didn't. I, I wish I wish I could go back to how it was. 
It would be so, I would do it so fast. But you can't. And uh, you can only move forward. And that's the only, only thing that you can do, man. And it's just so shitty. It just, it sucks so much fucking dick, man. Accept it and move on. I don't think that I will ever really accept it. I don't. I, I really don't. I, I, I don't think I will ever really accept it. And, and it will piss me off for the rest of my life. And it's like I'll still, I, I still water all of our plants and, you know, all that stuff. And I, I, I don't know what to say. It just sucks, man. It just fucking sucks. That's life in a nutshell. Yeah. But I, I do feel, I feel a lot more free, but I also feel a lot more alone. And, um, it's a weird feeling. Yeah, it's just, it's just a really weird feeling. And it's like, I, I can, you know, do, do what I want. But oh, shit's make it break my heart. There's no reason, uh, the thing is to me is like, I get sad about it sometimes and I'll think about it and I'll cry, but it, it's, it's not very often. Uh, the truth is that there only is and what isn't. There's, that's all there is. There is what is, and there is what is not. And this is. And I, you can run it, hide from it, dread it. Destiny arrives all the same. And uh, that's, that's the only thing that I can really, I, I can really worry about. Yeah, I mean, th 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 yeah, I, I, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't fight it off. You can't do anything. So, yeah, I mean, this is my, my mom is almost identical. What's this to, to my dad and me? He's alive, but 100% like your mom was. Every, every day I wonder if today's the day. Yeah, and, and like, to be honest with you, I have no advice for you. I, I genuinely have no fucking advice. There is nothing I can say, and you know this, right? Like, there's nothing I can say to make it easier. There's nothing I can say to make it better. There, I can't say, oh, it'll be better whenever it's over because it probably might not be, right? For me, it, it is and it's not. It, it, there's nothing I can say, nothing I can do. All I can say is sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. It fucking sucks. Uh, I've always been... Uh, it, it's weird because, like, there's so many things that... I used to be like really, really afraid of, and like now I don't really worry about them as much anymore. Like I don't really worry about, uh, I, I don't know. I don't worry about I don't worry about dying anymore, right? Like I did with with her. I think it was because I felt like I had to take care of her. But like I, I don't really, I'm not like afraid. I don't lay in bed and think about it, and I'm not scared of it anymore. Yeah, and so it it, it did change me a lot, and I'm not even really sure in all the ways. Did you help you event on stream? Uh, I don't know if it necessarily helps me, but I know it probably helps some people in chat. So, uh, you know, I try to talk about it and be honest with you guys because I know there are a lot of y'all that's going through this same fucking bullshit that I've been going through. And, uh, I, I talk about it because... Because, because of that. Yeah, there's a lot of you guys in the same fucking situation. And that, that's my best advice. Uh, what are you afraid of these days? Wasps. Uh, I am afraid of wasps. That's it. That's the only thing.